We had some breaking news this afternoon in the Storm Team 10 Weather Center. There was a tornado confirmed Saturday evening. It happened at 936 in Bedford County, about five miles southwest of the town of Bedford. Again, it happened on May the 19th. It is an EF1 tornado. The path length was around one mile and it occurred on Mount Elevate Road. So again, a tornado did occur on Saturday evening in Bedford County, five miles southwest of the town of Bedford. Uh, it didn't do any damage to homes. There were no injuries. There were about 50 trees uprooted or toppled, but no damage to any structures, which is great news. But we still have scattered showers and thunderstorms around as of right this minute, and we'll continue to have these in play here throughout the course of the evening. After midnight, things will start to settle down, but in Hot Springs right now, areas uh, around Dunn's Gap Road, Main Street, areas near Switzerland Trail, Open Trail, right along that 220 corridor near Homeland, or I should say Homestead Skyline Drive, dealing with some very heavy Heavy rain, uh, Lime Kiln Road areas uh, uh, farther south towards Highway 42, dealing with some very heavy rain as well. Now you head into Franklin and Floyd counties. We've got some pretty heavy rain uh, near Sidnersville. Some very heavy rain around Floyd. We're going to zoom into where we actually have the radar areas right now around uh, Bethlehem Church Road, Moore Road, Christiansburg Pike, areas right along Highway 8, High Rock Hill Road. Right here is the uh, Floyd and Montgomery County line, and it's raining very, very heavily, very close to Highway 221, very close, frankly, to the Blue Ridge Parkway. And we have more rain situated to the south. These are going to be moving to the north, and as they move to the north, they will be a player in our weather here for about the next four to six hours. So again, not everybody's getting wet today, which is good news, but those that are getting wet have picked up three, four, or even five inches of rain so far as these cells just are not moving much at all. And over the course of last week, we've picked up anywhere from three to nine inches of rain. Future tracker showing that by 11 o'clock, the rain may become a little bit lighter, but it's still going to be around moderate to perhaps even a few bouts of heavy rain around 11 o'clock after midnight. So after about one, two o'clock, we're going to start to see the rain starting to taper off. And then Tuesday will start out partly to mostly cloudy and for the most part dry. But by Tuesday afternoon after 3 o'clock, we're going to have more scattered showers and thunderstorms with us. Dinner time could be really rocky, especially right along the spot of the Blue Ridge. And then as we head into tomorrow evening, looks like we'll still have some wet weather around by around midnight. Just like tonight, the rain will start to end as we head beyond midnight Tuesday night. We're watching the Roanoke River at Randolph. Flood stage is at 21 feet. Right now it's at 24.69 feet. Moderate flooding is occurring right now along the Roanoke River at Randolph. It has already crested, which is good news. It's on its way down, but moderate flooding still occurring. Dan River at South Boston, minor flooding occurring. Uh, the flood stage is at 19 feet. Current stage 21.9 feet. And you'll notice the spring showers so far have brought a fairly large rainfall surplus to all of our reporting stations, Roanoke, Blacksburg, Lynchburg and Danville. You have a rainfall surplus anywhere from about a half an inch to four and a half inches above normal. 81 in Lynchburg, 83 in Danville, 69 Blacksburg at 70 in Withville. For tonight, we are looking at scattered thunder showers tapering off. Patchy fog then forms lows in the upper 50s and 60s and then tomorrow more rain, more thunderstorms. We're humid. High temperatures tomorrow in the mountains in the 70s. Everybody else in the low to mid 80s. We will stay in the 80s here through Sunday, the Memorial day. We're looking at temperatures falling to the 70s. The two dry days here over the next seven days, Thursday and Friday. Those look to be very nice days, but then more wet weather and it could be tropical moisture comes back into play late Saturday, Sunday into Memorial Day.